time, I have Mark Ling on the line. He's going to talk about traffic, all kinds of different ways to get traffic and to use that traffic. Now, as you guys know, I am all about SEO, and, you know, that is my, the lifeblood in my body is SEO. But, of course, there's other ways to get traffic. And what really impressed me about Mark is that when he first got online, he didn't use any SEO, and he's built up a huge business by using other means of traffic. And so that's why when he was... Uh, you know, putting out you know, some products, I was like, oh, my God, I have to, you know, I have to look at this, and, and, and I wanted to get him on a call so we could talk about that and then what he's offering later on. So um, Mark does usually have a, a slideshow, a PowerPoint presentation, but he, as Murphy's Law would have it, uh, the slides aren't up. But Mark knows his stuff so well, he's just going to talk us through it, and um, I'm sure that we're going to all be able to understand and perhaps maybe get the slides later on that maybe the replay people can follow along. Um, but anyway, Mark, yeah. I, I, I'm... Oh, the slides won't, won't, won't be useful for this because I'm going to be going completely... I don't have, even have them to base my presentation, so the slides aren't going to be of any use now if I can't use them during the presentation. So I just don't want to give people um, a promise that I can't keep. I won't be able to give you the slides after this. Um, okay. But, but um, I'll be able to... Teach, Did I, uh, will you, will teach you use the internet? Will you use the internet? Yes, at all? yes. So you can see me. You can see me live on the screen. You can uh, switch over to my screen. Okay. Have you got? How do I do that? I'm gonna find you right here, uh, Mark Ling, as a panelist. I'm changing you over as a presenter, and you should have that right now. And I should see. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. You can see my screen now. Ah, yes, I can see Google's, Google New okay, Zealand, cool. down under, and uh, with their new little logo. Yeah, yeah, so if I type <laughs> um, date and time, Eastern Standard Time, you can see this is a live webinar. I mean, I think you guys know it's live based on the few hiccups we've had trying to get this started. Um, so I originally thought this webinar was scheduled for next Thursday. We'd just sort of, like, miscommunicated, so that's why I'm just slightly underprepared at this moment, but it's, I mean, I've been doing this stuff for years, so it's not like I don't have a lot of great stuff to share with you guys. Um, when it comes to traffic generation, um, if you want to see, I'll just give you some proof that I know what I'm talking about, that I'm, you know, making good money online. If I go to clickbank.com and and if I here to, to any one of my niche accounts, like let's say if I was look at Manifestation Miracle, for instance, which is in the personal development niche, you know, um, doing over ten thousand dollars a day, and that's that's my share because a friend of mine who um, is the author of this owns the other half of this, so that's um, actually only fifty percent of what's being made there. Like she's actually getting the other half, so it's like you know it's pretty impressive stuff um, from one niche. Uh, I'll look in the dating niche. Let's have a look. I'm, I'm just showing you a couple of screenshots just so you know that I, I know what I'm talking about, you know. Um, I'm not trying to show off in any way. It's more just um, sweet. It's more just so you know you're learning from someone that's actually doing what they teach. And this is um, in the dating niche, a website called meetyoursweet.com. I'll load that up over here. Um, if I go to meetyoursweet.com slash... Seven Secrets, you'll see, um, you know, just a quick example here of, a, of an opt-in page and, and, a, and, a, um, and I make good money in the dating niche on that particular one. Um, I've got dozens of other, <clears throat> I've got dozens of other accounts and screenshots, you know, successful accounts that, that do really well. I'll just show you one more. This is in the wholesale sourcing and supplying niche, Sale Who. Again, over over ten thousand dollars a week, um, and we've got many others. I've been in many different niches, like language learning. www.rocketlanguages.com, for example. Um, I've got learn guitar, like jamarama.com, um, with learn guitar. Um, got several several other um, profitable websites that are doing really really well. Anyway, so I'll get underway with this presentation. Um, I just want well, can you guys all hear me okay? Can you just type into the question and answer box that you can hear me okay? Yes, 
Getting lots of yeses. Okay, I, I can't. Okay, so I can't see any. I'm just gonna check this box. No, no nothing's showing in on mine. Um, you might need to make me an organizer so I can see some of this. I can't. Um, oh, it, it sh it's under the questions that they're showing up, not the chat box. So uh, maybe. It's yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the questions area, but if I'm a um, if I'm not if I'm a panelist, I won't see the questions. Okay, only let if me I'm... see if I can make you an administrator as you are uh, going presentation. So I'll work on that. Cool. Um, okay, so. But yes, they can hear you loud and clear, and they can Okay. Hear you all right. All right, cool, cool. All right, so anyway, um, man, I don't know what's going on with my other computer. It's just nonstop, just stuck trying to configure Windows updates for some reason. So I'm not even used to using this computer for the webinar. Sorry, guys. Um, so anyway, I want to share with you like several several different ways of driving floods of traffic to your website. Now, um, now what I want to do is um, a minute, just clear that. Just to, um, what I want to do is start by asking you guys: Can you type in the types of traffic that you are using right now into the Q and A box? I'd be really interested to see. So I've got a YouTube, SEO, SEO, social media, Facebook, um, ads, Facebook, Google and Facebook, organic and Facebook, SEO, and I'm getting people who lost sound. Can you hear me? Okay, great. So you've got a lot. I've got a really good educated audience here. And then, then um, is everybody out here driving traffic, or are some people out there not driving any traffic? I just want to know where you're at because this is going to make a big difference. Okay, so we're getting about half and half then by the looks of it, the driving traffic. So that's cool. That's fine. That's good to know. Um, great. Okay, I want to start out with one of the more powerful sources of traffic, and that's uh, that's Facebook traffic. So if I type in um, into here, uh, just a quick example. Um, if I'm to look at one of my Facebook pages, uh, let's have a look. I'll type in. Um, what should I type in? Um, I'll, I'll go Facebook manifestation miracle. And let's have a look. Um, here we go. Manifestation miracle. It's just an example of one of my Facebook pages with 77,000 likes, 77,931 likes. Um, one of the one of the most awesome parts of using Facebook for driving traffic is that you can target uh, particular audiences. Like um, when it comes to Facebook, like there are millions and millions and millions of people using it, right? So you've got millions of people using Facebook, <clears throat> but you've got um, you've got millions of people using Facebook, but you're able to, as an advertiser, you can target their interests. So if you've got a website that's to do with dog training, you can very easily target people with with your uh, target your Facebook page to people that are interested in dog training, and then they might see some of your posts and so forth show up in their news feeds because people uh, people how do they how do they know how does Facebook know that you are interested in dog training? Well, you might have read a dog training website and clicked like on one of their posts. That's how they know. That kind of thing. They, it's, it's as simple as that. They just know. Or well, you might have stated it when you set up your account, when you listed your interests. Okay. Some people they can tell because they follow certain pages. Like if somebody is following two or three different cooking recipes websites to do with, say, paleo cooking recipes, then they just assume, oh, that person's one of their interests is paleo cooking recipes, and so. It's a really, really good form of traffic that I, I'm using significantly now in, in just about every niche that I'm involved in right now. Um, and what's great about it also is that it's really, really cheap to, um, it's really, really cheap in terms of um, you getting, um, 
it's really, really cheap in terms of getting yourself set up and underway. Um, when it comes to promoting or, and so forth to a page, let's say you've got your own page like this page here, Manifestation Miracle here. If you've got your own page, then um, then it, do, it doesn't cost anything to be able to just keep posting content to your page and getting people to do stuff. So I might post this piece of content here or this piece of content or whatever and then I get a certain number of people might like or share some of this content and if people like and share the content then I get more likes on my actual page as a whole or if some people might click through on some of this content through to say my website and then this is where the real money is made, is when people opt in to my mailing list right here. So I'm really trying to get people from my free Facebook page through to my email newsletter series. That's the big key there. If you've got your own Facebook page to do that, you can also, setting up a Facebook page, you can just advertise directly to people's news feeds. That works really well too, and I do a lot of that also. But what I love about setting up my own pages is that I can keep marketing to these people again and again by putting out posts, and they just show up in people's news feeds. Bear in mind, Facebook, um, they don't show my posts to every single person's news feed who has liked my page. They might show it to maybe 10% of them at a time. So it might be every, every 10 posts I put out, I might only... only my audience might only see one or two of them, of those posts each, but they sort of spread it out amongst your audience. So eventually, if you're making enough posts, people are seeing seeing your stuff. So it's not quite as effective as email marketing, where everyone gets your emails, but it's still very helpful. And it's a, that's why I want to get people on my mailing list or my email list, because then they're more likely to see any promotional content I might have. And you can do this in any any niche like set up Facebook pages and, and do extremely well. Uh, before I carry on, I want to know, has anyone got any questions so far about Facebook stuff? I'm not seeing James any questions. Says, Are you uh, paying to boost posts? Yeah, James says, am I paying to boost posts? Sometimes I do, but generally I don't. Generally, most of my posts are out there. They're just put up for free, and they're there to just get likes and shares and get more sort of viral traction on my Facebook page. No matter what niche you are in, whether you've got it, you're whether you do, you're helping doing SEO for a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant or whether you happen to be in an information product niche like weight loss or how to sing or and stuff like that, no matter what niche you are in, it makes a, um, it makes a huge difference. It can make a massive difference using, um, using the power of Facebook, absolutely. Yeah, Ashley um, asks, how much content are you putting out on Facebook? I'm putting out usually, well, depends on the niche that I'm in. I usually try to put out um, at least one piece of content per day. But sometimes when my pages get lots of traction and I'm making lots of money from it, I usually try to put out in today. Wow. Um, so. And, and Drew asks, what kind of CPC are you getting? Cost per click. Um, it, it really just depends. Um, uh, cost per click for my Facebook likes are anywhere from five cents to eleven cents, but they usually start out when it comes to your first thousand likes. If you're trying to advertise it to random people on Facebook, it might be twenty cents or more per like just till you get get going. And then once Facebook sees you've got an active page that you're posting stuff to every day, um, and that people are engaged by your page, they're actually clicking like on some of your posts or clicking share and that sort of thing. Then what happens is you find that it goes up after that. You start to get people. Um, you start to get a lot. Uh, it goes down. Sorry, from there. Facebook starts to want your page to be out there more, and the prices come down a lot um, in terms of in terms of that. Now, in terms of if you're just advertising directly, like direct to one of your opt-in pages or something like that, then you know it can cost me anywhere from ten to thirty cents. I mean, you can pay more, but 
usually if you drill it down and you get things right with your advertising, then costs can be relatively inexpensive. So yeah, Sal asked, are, are those pages affiliate products? Yeah, well, a bit of, bit of both. Like, like Manifestation Miracle, I actually own my own product on that website as well as most of the money being made from that site. You know, obviously it makes good money from its own product as well, but most of the money being made is actually as an affiliate promoting other people's products. So there's, um, you know, there's a, there's a good mixture of both going on there. And that's, that's what happens with, with most of my, um, most of my pages and most of my websites. Usually I make about 60% as an affiliate, 40% as a product owner. Sometimes yeah. I'm only you, an affiliate. You started actually as an affiliate, right? Just promoting other people's products. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and Gary wants to know if you use video and which converts better, if you do. Sorry? And video, Gary has asked you if you use video. In Where? Your... On Facebook? Yeah. I still got, uh, I got a lot of yeah. questions on Facebook. I'd be asking them to you or we can... Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. I just um, don't want to go over time today, that's all, because... Um, because I've got another webinar lined up at 9 p.m. as well, which is okay. crazy. It's just crazy. Um, okay, so I really want to get through. Later, I then. really want to. Yeah, I really want to get through a lot of questions, but I think that it's easier if I maybe take maybe two or three questions on each traffic strategy that I that I that I do at the time. But then afterwards, what I'll do is I'll get you to write them down and save them. To put in as many questions as we possibly can at the end after I share a whole bunch of other. Traffic strategies. Does that sound good, guys? So we'll take yep. cool, cool. Okay, so we'll do as many as as we can. Um, okay, so um, so now let's look at. Um, I'll go to Amazon.com. I'll show you another one of my strategies here. Now, on Amazon, you can put books up on Amazon Kindle. Okay, now. To write an Amazon Kindle book, actually, some people do it in, in, less than, in just an afternoon. Like my friend, um, my friend Chris, who goes under the in, a, in an afternoon. That's why I'm showing you this example first before I show you one of mine. Um, make him beg to be your boyfriend. Okay, it's for girls, it's for for women. Okay, now. You can see the fact that it's got 799 customer reviews. Uh, it is it is downloaded a lot. It's been downloaded probably over a hundred thousand times. He's made a lot of money from the even just from selling it for three dollars. He's he's made a lot of money. He, even though you know Amazon might take thirty percent, he he takes the rest. He's actually made a lot of money just from Kindle itself. But that's that's not where the majority of the money is made. That's just a bonus. The real money was made because inside the book itself, there's a little there's a link, like you start reading the book and then you say, oh, you can get all these bonus resources if you click on that link there. And he takes them to his bonus, gets them on his mailing list, and then he's able to promote all sorts of different products and so forth. I mean, he, he basically a new, good newsletter series. It contains a mixture of quality content, so he gives tips and tricks to do with dating and relationships because that's what these people are interested in. And then he also mixes it up with a couple of promotional emails per week, per week when he promotes different products. I know that he does extremely well in the dating niche. He, um, I mean, whenever he promotes any of my dating products, he makes 500 to 1,000 sales from a single email. He, you know, he's got such a big and high-performing mailing list. Um, and it's um, it's incredible what you can do there. Um, example of me doing it. Um, what whoops? What men really want? I'll just type that in. And if you look at there, if I click on that, um, you see exclusive bonus content for readers of what men really want. And they click there. And they opt into my page, right there. And then they get my, they get <clears throat> this, they get the audio edition. So they, I thought that would be a nice and easy way of doing it. And report as well. And then they get the newsletter series. 
and so forth from there, and that's where the money is made. So can you see the pattern here? The real money being made is in the follow-up sequence and the autoresponder. You guys noticing that? You know? So the list makes a huge difference. Um, so I've got several different mailing lists of different sizes. Someone says, how big's your list? Well, I've got over a million people on my various mailing lists and so forth. Um, some of them are duplicates because they might have signed up to more than one mailing list, but there's definitely you know a lot of people, thousands of individual different people, which is you know crazy, and and that's why I'm able to make six figures a month um, from niche marketing because of uh, because mostly due to email marketing secrets. Now, how, how did most of you guys get on to this webinar? How did I see, look, look, Jerry, like I said, like I, I'm getting people commenting saying, hey, he's not that keen to answer questions. I'm very keen to answer questions. The problem is, you know, I, um, I've only got so much time. I've got 90 minutes that I, and I've, I've got to be on another webinar as well because I thought that this webinar was next Thursday. So, I'm, you know, it's just been a scheduling issue here. So I'm sorry about that, but I will be taking live questions later in the webinar, and I'm doing my best. But when you've got um, 258 people on the webinar and everyone's typing in questions, I can't answer them all just at once. So I'm sorry, but I am doing my best. So anyway, carrying on. I am keen to answer questions, though. I'm just doing my best. Yeah, okay. So everyone's saying, Dory sent me an email. Email from Dory. That's right. So you, you guys must be able to see the power of email marketing, or you would not be here right now. Maybe you might not even know who Dory is right now if, if it wasn't for perhaps being on somebody else's email list who might have told you about Dory. You know, some of you may have found out about her through other means, but a lot of you may have found out about her through due to the power of email marketing. Okay, most of these gurus and so forth out there that show you their big income screenshots, millions of dollars being made, most of them are making a thanks to the power of email marketing. All right, so. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to sort of reiterate to you the importance of that. Okay, so let's have a look at um, some other strategies as well. Um, now, um, Dory. Yes. I've managed to get hold of my, get my other computer up. We won't switch over to that because that'll probably take too much time. But what I'll do is I will... Just um, if it's okay with you, I'll just take 20 seconds to just switch over my, um, just to switch over, uh, just to copy some slides across. Um, so this shouldn't take long. I'll just click File, Save As, and then I'll be able to move these across to back to the other computer. Sorry about this, guys. It's just the nature of being a live webinar, and I, I really dropped the ball here with this. And I'm sorry to you, Dory, as well for this. But at least it's better to get get that up and running than, than not have it at all because I'm a bit got a bit thrown by not having them on me to keep things in we'll carry on. And I really appreciate you guys um, out there uh, bearing with me. I'm you know I'm sharing some valuable stuff I'm sure you can see but it's you know it's probably just a little bit bumpy at the moment so I'm trying to just Yeah and I'm all. copying all the questions down that people are typing in so if we have time and at the end we can uh, you know ask those but a lot of these will probably be answered throughout the presentation. Um, so if we can just yeah we'll just get going once Mark, uh, Mark get his slides up and I've also gotten some people saying that this has already been very helpful for them. Um, the money is in the list, and email. There's, you know, it doesn't matter what uh, what market you're in. There's all, you know, you you should always try be trying to get their, their emails. And I have a program that's not SEO related, actually, but I do use SEO to to get opt-ins. But um, you know, I have lists in all kinds of different markets. Even I have a Beatles list. I have people who like. Um, I Baba. I have people who like horses, uh, all kinds of different things. So I can target them and send them individual, uh, you know, offers or promotions and, um, you know, information. And we're actually, you know, uh, that it's it's really interesting to to see how how many different interests there are out there. And you know, Facebook is incredible for being able to target the, you know, those interests. Now, like I said, on when Fred Lamb did his 
uh, thing, you know, was selling all about Facebook and getting traffic and paid media. Um, that's something that I am act, you know, very much going into uh, because it's, you know, just another traffic avenue. You know, uh, SEO is my bread and butter. It's my lifeline. I mean, I've been doing it for 201, um, and it's it's not the only thing. So as I build my business and build teams around me and outsourcing, you know, things. We're starting to learn different different ways to get traffic, so uh, I, that's why I've been, you know, kind of sourcing out and, and looking for different things and different, um, um, you know, people who are teaching different ways. Uh, I got SEO down, and you know, maybe a lot of you, probably people on my list, do as well, because you know, most of the time, since you know, prior to me releasing uh, Page One Engine. You know, most of my, the people that were on my list were advanced marketers, SEO people. So, so you know, this is you know we're getting into different things here. So, um, if anybody has any questions for me specifically, I'd you know would be happy to answer them while Mark gets uh, the slides up and going. Can you not see the slides? I've I put them up yeah. a, about a few minutes. I can see a slide that says solo ads. Is that where you want yeah, to go? Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, also. You know, I'm teaching traffic strategies that don't rely on Google because of the fact that I know that you guys are already well educated in, in Google stuff thanks to Dory. It's not because it's it's bad. Google's fantastic. It's a fantastic source of traffic. And if you put up an opt-in page and do email marketing and combine that with Google traffic, you're going to make a heap of money in any niche that you're in. Even if you you're you're I mean, I've seen people that are I've seen people that are like don't even think that email marketing is to do with their business. Like I remember um, a friend of mine ended up helping another guy that owned a, a gymnasium and this guy managed to triple his business thanks to email marketing and he just runs a local gym. It's not even not even a um you know an online business so to speak. But you know email marketing is fantastic. Um, and anyway, so I'm gonna I'm sharing with you other forms of traffic because Dory teaches you so well with the Google marketing, and there's so many other forms out there too that you, sh that you should look at um, and could seriously consider it. Um, now, like there was one time when Google made up 90% of my traffic, and now it makes up maybe 10 or 20%. You know, it's still important, and you could get all your traffic from Google, but you may not want to have all your eggs in one basket. You might want to have other forms of traffic, and that's what's fantastic about you know these other forms that are out there these days. Um, solo ads good um, it's when you pay somebody who already has a mailing list he's already they've already got newsletter subscribers you pay them to send an email out um, to their list to promote say your free gift that you'll have on your page all right so it's it's different than paying to advertise within someone's email a solo ad is when the entire email content is designed to promote your page. Okay, that's what solo ad is. It's when email content is designed to promote your page. All right. So the great thing about solo ads is you can use them to build up your list really, really quickly. So some people they get their free report and their, you know, and their autoresponder in place, but then they um, they don't know how to get their list moving, like how to get it from zero to 500 subscribers really fast. Um, and all the other forms of advertising work really well on a daily basis. But if you want to get, you know, 500 subscribers, and a solo ad is a really good way to do it. So the costs range anywhere from 30 cents to two dollars per click when it comes to buying the ads, or it might be charged just based on someone sending out a, a mailing. In which case, you need to ask for those sort of metrics to find out. I, I like to be paying. In general, as a rule of thumb, around 75 cents per click. So if someone's saying that they're charging a dollar, then I might go and do a mailing with them at a dollar a click. But then I'll probably say, hey, if I like what I'm getting from them, I might say, hey, how about I book three mailings for you over the next through you over the next three months, and you charge me 70 cents instead. You know, I usually try and bargain it down. Um, some solo ad vendors are better than others because of how they treat their lists and whether they get new subscribers regularly. I bet you've been on a list one day at one, once, or at least most of you guys watching, where you might have um, had just received promotion after promotion after promotion sent to you with no content in between. So 
if that happens, it's maybe quite as good as somebody that actually spaces things out. They send out some promotions and then they send out some great free content as well. And then there are people that just get no new subscribers. All their subscribers subscribed to their list like three years ago and it's not quite as fresh or as good a quality as ones where people are just that topic line right now. Okay, so tip number one for solo ads. Know your numbers and repeat by monthly from anyone that you're successful with. Tip number two is get good at writing swipe copy and write for the person who is most likely to opt in when they get there. Not, don't write for maximum opens and clicks. Write for, so what I mean by that is, let's say you've got a product that you're going to promote in your email, at the end of your email. Let's say you're going to promote a product that's all about uh, stopping dog behavioral problems. Let's say you're going to mail out a solo ad to a animal training newsletter series. And your, your site, your free report is to do with uh, the top seven uh, dog obedience problems. And you're just promoting dog training products throughout your autoresponder. So what you do is you write the headline, say, how to stop dog behavioral problems. All right? Don't write a headline like um, how to stop animal problems. Well, you may get more opens, but you'll get people that are cat lovers, people that are you know, horse lovers, all sorts of things opening that email. And yeah, it's not about the mo maximum opens. It's about getting the maximum number of relevant people. You'll get more dog owners opening if you use the word dog in that headline, for instance, how to stop dog behavioral problems. Or if you're focusing in on something like dogs stopping dog digging problems or on chihuahuas or something like that, then get, get I'm saying, because you're, you're paying per click, so you may as well get the right people clicking. Now, tip number three is to get on their list if you can, so that you know what they're used to, what their readers are used to receiving and the frequency of their emails and whether one of their subscribers would actually be likely to be interested in what you're offering. Finding solo ad providers can be a, a little bit of detective work. There's no one directory out there that I recommend. There, there, there are some directories, but I'm just saying there's none that particularly stand out to me because a lot of them I find, even if I go into the directory, I, I find that quite often they're a little bit overused, some of the solo ad providers in there, or, or they'll be overpriced in there. So you find them, you use them once, and then you negotiate a better deal with that solo ad provider afterwards. Um, there are often providers out there, though, when you look within your niche that you're in. So you just look for websites that have newsletter opt-in boxes on and email them directly and find out would they be willing to offer you a solo ad purchase, and if not, would they be willing, if they don't normally do that, would they be willing to experiment with offering you one? Okay. Um, so a big solo ad key is having an opt-in page with a free gift and having a strong autoresponder follow-up sequence. All right, so that's a a really, really big key to making it work with solo ads. And what this looks like is your potential prospects, they go to an opt-in page, then they end up in your, what I call your prospects pleasing machine. You've got this automated list of emails that are full of, some of them are content-based emails and some of them are promotions, but they're promotions of relevant products, the kinds of products that those prospects that downloaded that free report would likely be interested in. Okay, so then once they're in your prospect pleasing machine, you end up with some happy subscribers who by word of mouth let other people know about your opt-in page and you also end up with money being made. Money being made to build more that you should be reinvesting to either build more of these money magnets or to buying paid traffic to go back into your opt-in page to build a bigger list. Okay, and then as you build a bigger and bigger list, more and more money is being made, and then you start taking a higher and higher percentage out into your own wallet. But if you're only making $200 a week, spend all of it back into buying more traffic. Don't start taking money out until you're making, you know, $500 a week. And then maybe take half out, and more, or or $1,000 a week. Then then maybe take $800 out and put 200 back in. Like you don't really want to start taking money out until you're starting to make a serious amount of money. 
and a well-optimised sequence will make you around about 50 cents to $2 per month per subscriber. So at a dollar per month per subscriber, which is about average, you need 4,000 free subscribers to get yourself making $1,000 a week. Now, let's get on to media buying as the next step. Actually, I'll just double check. Are there any major, like, I'll just take, say, a couple of questions about solo ads and then I'll get on to save the rest for the end. But just to check, is there anything like absolutely pressing, Dory? Uh, I do not see. Oh, actually, somebody uh, wrote in and said, How are you dealing with mobile optimized landing pages and offers? Um, that was a great question. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's relevant to. Uh, so you mean like um, if I'm buying traffic from somebody uh, from a op, from a okay. So if I'm buying traffic from a, so we're talking about solo ads, right? So yeah, yeah, if I'm buying from somebody, page, is your landing page responsive. I would imagine that it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a responsive landing page, so you have a different version of your opt-in page for mobile traffic than for your um, yeah, normal traffic, is that what you is, mean? It's actually, you, ha you know, even for SEO, you want a responsive uh, website, which means that it will look good on whatever device a person is using, either it be a computer monitor, an iPad, or a similar device, or a phone, so that's good. Uh, I am getting I, a qu I, couple questions about where yeah. can they get good solo ads. Um, yeah, like, well, like I said before, it's a bit of detective work. I'll go back to that slide again. It's a little bit of detective work. Like there's, like I said, there's no one directory that I recommend. So that's why most people are not very good at buying solo ads because you, whenever a directory pops up that's out there, and there are several out there, what happens is everyone goes and buys them from the same directory, and then that solo ad, solo ad providers don't become not quite as good as they used to be because the too many people are buying ads from them. And then they start mailing their lists too many times, and then they don't become quite as good. So what I usually do is I'll go out and email a bunch of people in my list, in my niche, that happen to already have opt-in boxes on their website, so I know they're likely to have a newsletter, and then try and see if I can buy a solo ad. And I may get one in every five people I, I, I approach may say, oh, yes, that that's that would be great. And then I end up um, finding people, you know, that I can do solo ads through that aren't quite as um, aren't, aren't used by quite so many people as what say a um, people that are in those um, directories are used. Okay, um, I teach it in a lot more detail, and so I, uh, to my students, it's just that usually it takes me over an hour to teach that uh, op, uh, to teach um, solo ads in more detail, and I'm trying to sort of rattle through a whole bunch of traffic strategies here and. You know, to teach any any one of them could have perhaps taken up a two-hour webinar all by itself. You know, like, but um, you know, sort of doing my best there. Um, but I do tell you, be wary about directories. If you find a directory, then make sure that you look at those solo ad providers and you test it out. And if it goes okay for you, try and bargain. Usually, the price is listed higher in a directory than what the price really is, um, because they get too many people approaching them, so they, they price it quite high, but they usually prefer peak buyers than to have to constantly um, have to have new buyers submitting stuff to them all the time. They'd rather you just said, hey, I'm worth in a row, rather than having to deal with a whole lot of separate people, so just to bear that in mind. Okay, so on to media buying. Media buying is another form of traffic. These are those banner ads you see on a lot of websites out there. Um, yes, yes, a lot of people, you know, people are typing in a bunch of solo ad directory names, you know, click on me and so forth. I realize those directories are out there. I'm just saying that I don't tend to use them myself. So that's why I'm not like you saying, hey, that's what you should be doing. They're, they're not bad, but they're not as good as if you're willing to do a bit of detective work and end up getting you know, getting some real gold places to mail that other people aren't necessarily buying solo ads from, but they turn out to be really good. That's what I'm saying. Um, if you do use a directory for solo ads, though, make sure that you, um, that you, after using them once, you try to bargain them down on price for the next mailing. Yeah. All right, so media buying. You start by being a 
is places like either adbeat.com or whatrunswear.com. Those places will show you what everybody, what other people are, what other people's most successful ads look like and where they are advertising. So it can give you an idea where to buy media from, you know, in your industry, I mean. Um, and the, the main types of successful ads are curiosity driven. So they appear, appeal to somebody's croc brain, so to speak. That's when people aren't really concentrating. Um, they might be like reading an article and they're not that likely to go and click on a banner ad unless it really makes them curious. And then they have to be relevant so that relevant people get there. So don't just make people click through to your site and then leave. You want the people that do click to be actually people that would have been interested in your stuff. So it's still going to be relevant to what's on. And you've got to try and make it not feel like an ad because otherwise you might get what's called banner blindness and that's where people just don't even notice the fact that there was a banner ad already there. So it either feels like part of the website itself or, it's, or it stands out and is not too polished, one of those two. And don't try to mimic large corporations and their advertising. They're trying to target brand awareness. They're not really trying to target a direct response. It's a bit different and th their budgets are so much higher that they can perhaps achieve a bit more brand awareness and, and so forth. And it's just different. You know, like these sort of examples just don't work that well. Uh, they look like banner ads. So people see it and they just switch off and don't click, the, click it. They achieve a level of branding. A lot of you guys probably heard of Shopify, for instance. I think perhaps no one has probably heard of A1 Demo Reel. They're trying to copy what all the big advertisers are doing, but I don't think it would work. I'm pretty sure people will just ignore that kind of ad. That's what happens with me if ever I've tested ads like that. They just don't work. Okay, here are some examples of ads that do work. And I know they work because I used AdBeat and What's Runs Where to try and find some of the top performing ads on the internet. And these ones, you know, millions of dollars in advertising money has been spent on every single one of these ads in here. And they wouldn't do that if it wasn't for the fact that they work. Now, you might look at them and say, hey, they, they, they look quite sort of, you know, advertising, so to speak, but that's because you're seeing them all next to each other. On a normal website, you may see an article, say, on the page, and you might see this ad inside the article. And when it's like that, it looks like it almost looks like it's an image for the article. It almost doesn't look like an ad. Let's say, this, do you have these symptoms type article? That might show up on a medical type blog where, where people are typing their symptoms in and trying to find out what they've got. And they might be advertising on pages that are relevant to fatigue or skin rashes or toe fungus or stuff like that. But anyway, if they see someone that does have these symptoms, sees this, they are very likely to go and click learn more. Not these symptoms, your mouth ulcers, so to speak, you're likely, or a white coated tone, whatever, you're probably likely to want to click on it. It makes you curious. It's a really good ad at targeting the right kind of viewer. Um, now this ad here, it's a curiosity driven ad and it's using um, Anyway, I'll read, I'll read it out anyway. It's like it's got a little photo here that draws the eye. Good headline. Grocery stores fear him. Man creates brain-dead simple system to cutting your grocery bill by 90%. Hint, it's not coupons because I bet a lot of people just straight away think coupons. Click here to see it. And for the, for the right kind of people that are interested in this stuff, this is um, you know, going to generate a lot of clicks. Um, they're all different types. This one looks kind of like it's the start of an article. And anyone that's got weight loss issues, especially to do with thyroid stuff, is probably likely to want to read and click click here. This one here, all over the internet, shocking Spanish video. If you do not know Spanish, you should really read this. You'll be absolutely shocked. So any website that has got people on it that want to learn Spanish, if they see this, or even if it's just got random people on it, they may even be interested in clicking to see it. Um, it's you know it's got an attractive woman there to draw the eye across, but then it's got you know this could work in any niche though. I mean you could say shocking dog training video. 
if you have it if your dog is disobedient then you really must see this video you'll be absolutely shocked watch video like you could be you know you could do it with all sorts of niches let's hear another curiosity driven banner five foods to eat cut down a bit of your belly every day by never eating these five foods and then there's a picture of a banana you know and a lot of people think banana hey bananas are healthy why am I why should I not be eating a banana so then they click to to find out the reasons like it's a curiosity driven this one here is designed to look like it's part of your website if you've got a bunch of articles on your site and then you've you've got maybe um, one of a banner that looks like this it looks kind of like there's a photo and then there's a link and some text another photo for another article and a link and some text it looks like it's two separate things and it looks like it's part of a website but it's not it's a banner ad it's all one big banner ad that links off to the same page right on a website and uh, you know a promotional page for a weight loss program it starts with 15 um, veggies that kill belly fat and 15 foods never to eat and then it carries on into the set into the video into the sales video so that direct response example so some of these lead to opt-in pages some of these lead to um, sales videos these are just examples of the kind of ads that do work okay um, so I'll, I'll just carry on because I just in the interest of time I want to make sure that we, we fit everything in but I will take questions later in the webinar please write them down so you don't forget any questions that you've got and then we'll take them um, shortly when, when we have finished the presentation I think that'll that'll work really well I hope you guys are enjoying this now we did look at Facebook promoted posts before I'll just go over my slides for it here quickly um, but now that we've got access to those so you set up a Facebook fan page you make regular posts to it um, link within your header to your opt-in page make regular posts to your page start by building up a history for 12 days in a row to kick it off and then you do it every every day after that if you can or at the very least you do it weekly then once a week you create a post that's designed to trigger a direct response like to get them to opt into your mailing list or get them to visit or like your Facebook page and then you use Facebook promoted posts if you wish to I've sort of stopped doing that recently and it seems to be fine just because I just release more posts instead and then they get out there for free or you can have less posts but try and put a budget up to promote them to more of your people try to target people that are aged 40 plus who are in your target market more buyers I tend to find are aged 40 plus than than under 40 in any niche um, there's an example of a post a sponsored post that got promoted um, uh, Dan Carter showing the iPhone 5s back when that was released and then a whole lot of people hitting like and share and so forth um, which is fantastic now one free method of um, marketing that's quite often under underestimated but it's, it's really good for newbies who are trying to just build up a, an income before they've got the money available to be able to invest in paid advertising um, it's forum participation so you might for instance participate on a forum and then in your signature put a link to your opt-in page or to an offer that you want to promote okay and you can do that in any niche whether it be dog training whether it be cooking recipes whether it be uh, language learning personal development save relationship whatever it might be you can you know get in there be involved in relevant forums and then link to your uh, free gift or your website forum signatures okay let's look at another form of traffic not using Google yes you can drive traffic through SEO through Google but that's not what I'm covering in this presentation what what I've found it's not necessarily better but it is easier and is driving traffic through MSN Bing now when I say it's not better I mean it's a smaller search engine if you can dominate Google you're going to do better than, than Bing okay hand over fist but Bing still has a significant enough portion of the market um, so in the lucrative US market Google accounts for about 68% of the traffic um, but it can be more tricky to get ranking or just take a little bit more time Bing it accounts for 27% of searches so it's under half of that of Google 
but it is lower hanging fruit because less people are trying to get ranking in Bing and they are focusing all their efforts on Google. So if you do wish to target it, it can be easier and even a lot easier um, because fresh content is not as important to Bing as it is to Google and domain age actually plays a more important part. So in order to do well on Bing, one thing that can help you is buying a domain that's already a few years old. Like you can get an age domain for under $20 from expireddomains.net or alternatively you can use a new domain, it just takes a little longer with Bing for a new domain but once you get the rankings you, you can continue to get multiple MSN Bing rankings. Um, there's no pe penguin, no panda, Bing's algorithm, it's not quite as complex as Google. Um, so for now at least it can be a lot easier to rank with highly in Bing. Uh, similarities, well quality backlinks hold weight with both Bing and Google, though Bing does appear to place a higher importance on the anchor text of the link and less on the authority of the site linking than what Google does. And it makes a larger difference with Bing also if the page you are linking from is relevant to the topic that your page is about. Whereas with Google, while this is important, they place more importance on domain authority. On-page factors are important also for both Bing and Google, and you will have learned all about that from, from Dory and, and already, so I won't go over that. Um, we talked about the Amazon Kindle traffic stuff already. We've looked at my prospect pleasing machine. Now, before getting to the most important form of traffic, I want to quickly gloss over some other forms of traffic that you may wish to write down and look into yourself later. I can't for every form of traffic under the sun on this webinar, but I can certainly list a bunch out here that are going to perhaps be ones you want to go over and have a look at, because some of them may be really relevant to you and others won't be. Like press releases, that can be that can be really handy. This is online where you can do free press releases and end up getting syndicated all over the web. And then paid ones like prweb.com and other places can certainly be very, very helpful for more than, you know, not just for traffic reasons, but also for branding reasons or credibility reasons if other people go to Google you later. Uh, you've got um, MSN Ad Center, uh, you know, like good pay-per-click there. You've got making your own information product. I mean, I teach my students how to do this and I do this myself. One of my forms of traffic uh, is actually making my own product. What I do is I do well as an affiliate in a niche first. I get myself making money and then I build myself a list and then I make my own product in that niche and then I'm able to tell all the affiliates that I've been promoting, hey, I've got my own product and promoting this and then some of them will say yes and then I end up having affiliates promoting me as well as me promoting affiliates and then it becomes a nice little sort of circle going on there and it's a great form of traffic as well as income. Um, running a warrior special offer, that's another idea that may suit some of you guys. Um, you know, you might have to Google that. That's on the Warrior Forum. That might be something of interest to some of you guys. Like you, you, you put out an offer and you, you sell it for quite cheap on the Warrior Forum for maybe six or seven dollars, but you end up getting a lot of buyer leads on your list. YouTube and other video sites. I teach that in detail to my members. Um, definitely like putting out free videos and so forth. There's, there's a lot of good ways to build up a YouTube following and to get a lot of for free from YouTube. Uh, click swaps with other list owners is another another option. Once you get yourself over a thousand opt-ins, you can start doing swaps with other people. You say, hey, I'll mail my, my list to your opt-in page if you mail your list to my opt-in page, and then you end up getting a bunch of um, a bunch more opt-ins. They do wind up getting onto both lists though, but still, if you're able to grow your list to a good size, it, it can still be well worth it. Um, viral traffic, that's where you create like a free report or a free piece of software that gets shared around all over the internet. Uh, I've done that many times over with different pieces of software and so forth. Um, and that can be really, really handy. Tell a friend, so you can perhaps put up a tell a friend page on your site and say, hey, if you tell at least five friends, then you'll get this bonus ebook here and then they fill in the names and email addresses of five friends and then they all get emailed about your free gift and perhaps might opt, some might opt in. Guest blogging, so you could, you could um, approach other blog owners 
or even Facebook page owners, I tend to find that to be the good way to go. I find someone who's got a Facebook page, they've got over 100,000 people likes already. I say, hey, is it all right if I do a guest blog on your blog and maybe you could just do a Facebook post linking to it? More often than not, they'll say yes. About, you know, maybe about 60% of the time they'll say yes and then you end up getting a lot of traffic from all of those guest blogs. Um, tends out to be fantastic. Um, now, number one form of traffic, as you may have gathered from this webinar is, so far, is repeat traffic. And that comes from email marketing. It's the highest converting form of affiliate traffic. They buy from you again and again and again, multiple times. You know it's powerful because you're here right now because of the power of email marketing. Um, most affiliates, I won't say all affiliates, but most top affiliates make the majority of their money through email marketing. I know that I do. Um, I'm not sure if Dory does. I can't speak for Dory, but um, I'm sure that it's right up there if it's not, not your number one. Now, Dory, would you tell me, is this, is this your number one or is it right uh, up there? No, with... actually, it's not my number one, um, but it's a re real close. If I didn't have a list, I wouldn't be able to sell my products, but I usually sell recurring products, which is my number one uh, source of income. And then, oh, no, I didn't mean your number one source of income. I meant your number one source of traffic for when you're promoting an affiliate product. When I'm a promoting an affiliate product, it is absolutely my number one way to uh, get traffic. Right, right. Yeah, because that's the go-to that you can go to like right away. If you had to promote something tomorrow, you can mail it to one of your mailing lists. You absolutely. know, and depending Just on what like, niches you know, you're I was in. talking about having my Beatles list. You know, I could go out and get a Beatles offer and mail that, uh, you know, just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's easy. And then, then we do SEO after that. Right, right. Absolutely. I know there are other forms of traffic out there, but they are, um, but usually for most affiliates, this turns out to be the number one. That all of their traffic, even the other forms of traffic, they're all sending their traffic to get the opt-in so that they can do email marketing to them. So in the long run, even though they might have bought Facebook traffic, say, to start things, in the end, it all ended up being email marketing, and then that person ends up visiting again and again through the email. So it's, it's really, really powerful. Um, and, and what it looks like, just a reminder, your prospects go into your opt-in page, they go into your prospect-pleasing machine, they get all these great emails that are relevant to what they're interested in, uh, a combination of relevant emails and promotions. You end up with happy subscribers who, by word of mouth, may tell other people about your opt-in page. You make money, you reinvest that money into buying more traffic and into building more money magnets and into your wallet, investing into your wallet. Right. Um, right. Okay. So I hope that, uh, that this makes sense. Now I'm just going to go over my six-step method for making ten thousand dollars a month from affiliate marketing and more. All right. Step uh, step one. Choose a profitable niche, preferably a big and proven niche, and choose the products to promote excellent payouts and high conversion rates, right? Good quality products. I mean, there are a lot of places you can go to find quality products, but let's, let's just like cut that, shorten that down a little bit and say, uh, let's have a look. If I was to go across to um, um, clickbank.com, an example of a place, a marketplace that's got a lot of great products you can promote. This is just one place. There's a lot of them out there, but I click marketplace, and there are loads of products out there as an affiliate that you can promote. You can click on any niche like self-help, say, and then you can just see what are the most popular selling products in that niche and so forth. I mean, there's, there's a lot of other marketplaces for products that you can promote and earn high commissions from, all right? Um, but this is, these are just examples, all right? So now... Um, and I'll give you an example of me doing it. Like if I go to, say, clickbank.com again, I'll go to the login page. I'll log into one of my accounts. Um, I'll log into anyone. I'll just log into Meet Your Suite for a minute and just have a look because I know on Sunday I promoted a product called Drama Book. And let's have a look and see what I made there. I'll just look in there. And 
Um, I think that was on Sunday. I, prom I promote different products all the time, but just from memory, that one. I promoted, I mean, I'm earning commissions from all sorts of products, but uh, if I type drama book, there we go, go. On that day, I made 40 sales of that product, $1,380 commission. And I found that product in the ClickBank marketplace. If you type, I'll just type drama book to find it. And it's right here. Okay, um, that's that's it's this product here. It says emo hook formula. That's the emotional hook formula, and it's right there. Okay, um, just as a quick example. So over the course of the last few days, I've actually made two thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars from that product. So that was just that one, one, one hit of it. So I hope that gives you a good, you know, just a good quick example. Now um, I will go back to. The presentation. Where did I put it? Um, it's got to find. It's, it should be on the screen behind anyway. Whoops. There we go. So if I go, how do I enlarge this again? I hit play there. There we go. Okay. So you want to choose a profitable niche, preferably a big improvement niche. Choose quality products to promote that have great payouts and high conversion rates. Create a free report that is really high quality. Build a website containing free content, say 20 articles or, or something like that, um, and then build a squeeze page or an opt-in page to promote your offer. Create a strong follow-up newsletter sequence, one that keeps subscribers happy with solid content, yet is monetized well with soft sales and occasional hard sales, and then drive traffic to your opt-in page and then reinvest. Okay, problems you may face trying to implement the six-step method. One, choosing a profitable niche. You may find that tricky. Finding the right products to promote in that niche to affiliate to, ones that have got good payouts and great conversion rates. That's not easy for everybody, and that could be tricky. Putting together high-quality content for your list can be time-consuming and be costly. This is often a cause for procrastination among would-be successful marketers. Some people don't, even, don't know one, what, what are the profitable products to promote, and two, they don't know what emails to send. Like, what should I be actually writing and mailing to my list? Ah, oh, you know, like, and what is good content? People, some people don't know this sort of stuff, and it can be, it could be a problem. Um, monetizing your list effectively, or what sequences that sell, and then there, there could be technical skills involved, like setting up an autoresponder, setting up a squeeze page, and so forth. For some, some people, that might not, that might not be easy. And then obviously there's driving traffic as well. You know, those are the those are the common sticking points. But the great news is my team and I have developed a comprehensive solution which allows you to easily build your own money magnets without the problems that I just mentioned. This is the ultimate solution. So first, I just want you to know that I'm not going to just show you how to do it anymore. I'm not going to just tell you what to do and leave it there. I'm going to provide you with most of the work done for you so you can get your first true money magnet website online in less than four hours. As far as I know, this is unlike anything anyone else is offering. It's a truly all-in-one, like you've never experienced before solution. It's the fastest way to start making money online. It's the proven system that will run almost on autopilot, allowing you to cash in from anywhere in the world at any time and will keep working even if you don't touch it for months. It's an almost 100% turnkey solution that still allows enough flexibility to keep it from being cookie cutter so that you can grow and grow your earnings all with no experience required. Each member of a fellow Jetpack receives not just one, but five one-year autoresponders. Imagine, you don't even have to write an email for an entire year. Your list is just constantly followed up with, with quality content, and not just one list, you get up to five, five different niches to choose from. I've got, I've actually got 18, I should adjust the slide, it says 16, I've got 18 niches to choose from. In make money online, dating advice for women, dating advice for men, dog training, personal development, save relationships, spirituality, diet and nutrition, um, how to sing, wholesale sourcing and supplying, Hawaii travel, 
and, and, and lots more. And these are niches, and over half of them, I am very, very profitable in myself already. You know, I've made over six and sometimes seven figures in some of these niches already, plus the other niches were either put in place due to pro popular demand or they were in place due to um, due to the fact that I already know other people doing extremely well in those niches. So other these niches I'm already doing really well in that you're seeing on screen, but other niches like um, like survivalist, for instance. I'm not in that niche, but there are a lot of successful marketers in that niche that I know personally, and that by popular demand we have a jet I have a jetpack, so to speak, uh, one of these one year order responders, we've got it done in that niche as well, like as, a, as an option. So we've got 90 plus carefully crafted emails per autoresponder that go out over the course of a year. In fact, I've updated them to be over 100 now carefully crafted emails per autoresponder. You plug in your affiliate ID and you're good to go. And there's a push button set up of your autoresponder sequence, so it makes it really, really easy. Um, just give you some sample newsletter titles from self-help. It'll say like on day one, your free report is ready, and then it goes and links to your free report. Um, the day three, how the law of attraction really works. Day five, how to attract wealth and prosperity. Day eight, have you made your vision board yet? Let's skip down. Day 23, how to stamp out negativity fast. And there's a good mixture of quality content and promotional emails in this sequence. So it's designed to make you money on autopilot right throughout an entire year. Um, and every email, even the even the regular content-based emails, they have an article in them. They still have a little soft sell at the end of the email that promotes a product. So you can still earn money off every single email that goes out to your list. It's fantastic. Here's some sample newsletters from Weight Loss. So day one, it might say your free report is ready. It'll link to the Weight Loss Report, whatever report you've got there, and it'll also link to a affiliate product as well. Then you've got day three, five quick ways to stop junk food cravings. Day five, why losing weight is so difficult. Day eight, four carbs to eat and four carbs to avoid. You've got all sorts of um, great content here. Day 22, seven common mistakes that make you fat. Day 24, the real reason you're not losing fat. Okay, so how much would it cost to make a one-year autoresponder yourself? 90 plus emails, and would you do it correctly? Well, let's say it was $20 per email, either of your time or of someone else's, it'd be about $1,800. And it's unlikely to be anywhere near the standard of what I provide to you, because I've, I've been doing this for years and ex succeeding extremely well, as you've seen by me logging into my account. So if you're getting one of these, there are much higher value than what you're likely to be capable of doing yourself. And it's good to be able to see an example of what a highly profitable follow-up sequence looks like. It's good as a training tool too, just seeing what, what it is. But you can use them as is. They're good to go. And you're not just receiving one. You're getting five of them. So you, that would normally cost you at least 1800 times five is $9,000 to set up five of these. But you're getting them included. So that's $9,000 value if you were to have done it yourself. Francisco Brevoort, he says, I first got started online thanks to Mark and then I built several top performing sites in different niches. I managed to build a new home, pay it off completely, and build another new home during that time, and I could not recommend Mark's the fellow jetpack any more highly. Component number two, 15 reports plus graphics. So there's three Three reports per niche times five niches. So you've got how to be the alpha dog and stop your dog's behavior problems. That's um, that's one of the reports you get if you're in the dog training niche. You can edit them too if you want to. You don't have to, but you could. Like if you were wanting to focus in on, say, golden retrievers, then you could change the cover of this and call it how to be um, how to stop golden retriever behavioral problems. And then you then it's all about golden retrievers. You might add an extra couple of pages that's specific to golden retrievers, and you're good to go. Um, so it's up to you, or you can just leave it as is. You've got whole, all about wholesale suppliers and online auction secrets. That's one of the free reports that you can use from the wholesale sourcing and supplying niche. 45 fantastic ways to burn calories. That's one of the examples from the weight loss niche. 
And it kind of looks like this when it's on your site. Uh, here's another example from the weight loss niche. 20 superfoods that will help you lose weight and live longer. And then you just add one of these to your website and you watch the subscribers pour in. So you get to choose three reports per niche for five niches, that's 15 reports. You get 10,000 plus words each, super high quality, 2D and 3D graphics included. Done yourself, each report plus graphics would cost $420 plus. In fact, it's more like $1,000 because I spent over $1,000 on each of these. But if you were to do it on the cheap, it would be about $420 each. So this is $6,300 value for 15 reports. That's the done, done yourself cost anyway. It would cost that much money. So far, you're getting five one-year autoresponder newsletter series, 15 reports plus graphics. The total do-it-yourself cost is $15,300. Tracy Schaffer says, I would and do recommend a Filarama to other people because I'm tired of explaining to my friends and family how I make money on the internet. I really quite enjoy that I can work from anywhere and do. Then you get one click website set up and one free one year website hosting. So if you're not sure how to make much like, like one of mine, I'll go, let's have a look at this. If you're not sure how to make an opt-in page like um, like meetyoursuite.com slash seven secrets, if you're not sure how to make an opt-in page and so forth, it doesn't matter because you just use our built-in software. If you're not sure how to make a um, how to build these kind of websites, then it doesn't matter. Our software makes it super easy. Um, let's let's go in to Fellow Jetpack, I'll just have a quick look. I'll set up one that I haven't set up yet. Let's go into the survival niche. I'll click set up required. There we go. In fact, that one's already done, so I'll try finding another one. I thought that wasn't done. Um, I'll try finding, there we go. Have I done this one yet? No, I've done that one already. I'll just try and find one I haven't done. Pen energy. No, it looks like I've been I've done. There we go. Try that one. Nope. Well, I just want to show one that I haven't done, but I've set them. All, looks like I've set them all up now, because um, I would like to show you an example of how fast it is to set one of these up. Uh, nope. It looks like that's done too. All you do though is you just click. It's a matter of like when you're setting one of these up, it's a matter of clicking create your website, and then it just makes your website. Then you click and select your domain name, or you, or you register one through our system and then it's as good as done. It looks like I've set these all up. Then you click on your um, to set up your email address, then you click to set up as an affiliate, then you click to set up your newsletter and you're done and it takes 10 minutes. Most people get their website set up in as little as 10 minutes. That's how that's how easy and straightforward this is. I'll just look at one more um, set up required. Okay. Website's been created, so that's step one. Find a domain. Either I find a domain using our system here, check availability of a domain, or I click I've already got a domain and I enter it. So I'd say my marketing site for you.com, I'll just make that up. I click connect, and then I enter these DNS details into the domain area. I click I've changed my DNS, and then I choose whatever email address I want to set up for the autoresponder, and then I into my ClickBank ID if, that I want to get paid from for the affiliate products in this autoresponder sequence. If I don't have one, then I click this button here and I spend 30 seconds setting up a ClickBank account. But if not, I just enter my ClickBank ID, I click Save, and I'm done. And then I click Set Up and Export Your Newsletter, and we're done. It's that fast. Okay, it takes 10 minutes for the quick setup, but then you might take four hours to customize it from there to you know, because then you've got pages that need filling in and so forth. But very, very fast to get set up. And we may, I make it as easy as I can ever imagine this this being. I can't imagine anyone making this any easier. Um, you know, I've put a lot into this. So that's $193 value for our um, for the one-click setup for the WordPress theme. That's all all set up included. Um, and one year of free hosting is included as well. You can host it yourself, but some of you may wish to use our hosting. So, total value for you today.
is $15,493 value for the five one-year autoresponder sequences, um, 15 reports plus graphics, one-click website set up, one year's free hosting, and we also give you 100 content cheat sheets. So that's um, 20 cheat sheets times five niches. Now, a lot of you guys are aware that you can't really just write, put up, um, private label rights articles on your web pages, or you might get done for duplicate content, or, or it's very hard to get them ranking if, in the search engines and so forth. If you don't care about search engine rankings, it doesn't matter quite so much. But if you're wanting some unique content on your websites, or at least unique content to put up as Facebook posts or something like that, then that's where our cheat sheets come in handy. What, what we give you, and I'll give you an example. Let's go back in and have a look. Okay, I'll look at another niche here. I'll just look at, um, I mean, any one of these will work. I'll click on dog training in this case, and I'll click on, um, what am I looking for? Content ideas. These are the cheat sheets. So you've got all of these different cheat sheets, okay? You know, like how to get your dog to stop digging, for instance. How can I make house training my puppy easier? So what you've got is, a little bit of an intro, and then you've got a whole lot of bullet points that give give you a lot of ideas for things that you could put in your article, and then a bit of a conclusion. So what you do is you take this content, you take maybe three or four or five of these bullet points, any ones of them, you reword them into your own words, okay? You and you write your own article, but it's there to save you a lot of time, so that you write an article that actually says something useful, and yet you can rush out an article and write one in as, in as little as 10 minutes from, from using these. Okay, So it makes it really, really easy to write an article that says something useful, but still you're making sure it's unique by writing it in your own words. Okay, So it's done for you research. Saves, saves a lot of time. That's what it's for. So, uh, you're getting 20 of these times five niches, so that's $2,000 value if they were to value each of them at $20 each. So all up, you're getting five one-year autoresponder newsletter series, you're getting 15 reports plus graphics, one click website set up and one year's free hosting, 100 content cheat sheets, that's $17,400 value. Um, and, you're not getting it for that. Normally other people would sell products like this from the stage for $5,997 and it wouldn't even be as good a quality. I've never seen anything like this for affiliate marketers. Um, $5,997 value, not even that price. I've been told by other marketers it should be $2,997. I was going to launch it at $1,997 but I ended up deciding to make it 997 when I decided to reopen the doors. Now the doors have been closed for a long time now. I've only just reopened them recently. We're almost at capacity for new students, so the doors are about to close soon. And over the next few days they will be closed, possibly even by the end of this webinar. They're not we're not far off capacity. And the reason we have a capacity is so that we can take care of all of the students really high quality support. Um, and because I, you know, I do spend most of my time making money by doing what I teach, so there's only so many students that I can work with at any given time. Um, so that's seventeen thousand four hundred ninety-three dollar value. Plus, you've got a special guarantee. If you want to have your money back any time, you send us an email and you get your money back. But if you actually put the system to use, if you actually try to make it work, you actually just put it, set up one of our websites and give it a go, and it does not make you money, then we will give you your money back plus $100. So if you just show us that you've actually tried to make it work, and it doesn't work for you, I'm going to give you your money back plus $100. Like, I don't know how else to... Um, how else to do it other than to put some of my own money, my own skin in the game, how else to shout out to you guys, how else to prove it that my system works other than to get in there and um, say, you know what, if it doesn't work for you, then I'll not only give you your money back, you'll get $100 on top. Okay, now I couldn't do that if it wasn't for the fact that the system works extremely well. Um, so now we've got um, some early mover bonuses for you guys. 
got top secret traffic strategies workshops. If you want to see in detail all of my top traffic strategies, you know, like I've covered a lot on this webinar, but a lot of this these strategies could take a whole webinar just by themselves, you know. They can take quite a while to teach in detail, like the Kindle strategy or the Facebook strategy or solo ads or media buys and so forth. So or, or YouTube traffic and all the works. Like all of this is taught in my top secret traffic strategies workshops. And if you join today through Dory's link today, you're going to get full access to those as well. Uh, you'll also receive a fuller blueprint which normally sells by itself for $197. The first version of this um, was um, used by Aidan Booth, and he's now a well-known affiliate marketer now, who's an uh, affiliate millionaire now, um, but he signed up to the first version back in 2008, and he says that it was one of the turning points in my internet marketing dream. Within a few short weeks of making my investment, I was already making money. Fast forward to 2014, and the sites I set up using Mark Ling's method are still making money every single week, and I never touch them. This is as hands-off as it gets. The largest commission I've earned so far from an affiliate promotion has been $224,000 from a single week, and I regularly make upwards of $50,000 from affiliate promotions. And Mark's email strategies and system here are amazing. If you want to make great money online, Mark's products are a great place to start. Now you're getting version, this is Aidan Booth, you're getting version 3.0. He did this with version 1.0, so you're getting version 3.0, plus obviously you, the Villa Jetpack is a much better product because you're not only getting this, all of this great training here, but you're also getting all of the done for you components that make things a heck of a lot easier and save yourself so much time and money. Uh, that is you know, often the biggest key to getting things done. Um, and there's more. For you guys, if you join today, if you join today right now, you're going to get a further $250 off. So make sure that you join through Dory's link today and you'll get a further $250 off and you'll be able to get in for just $747. Um, plus, for those of you that are interested in making and selling your own information products as well, that's where my product, the $5 million code, comes in. You're also going to receive full access to that as well. That's $1,997. It's not even available to the general public yet. I'm only making it available right here for you guys, um, and you're getting beta access to it. So you're getting access before the general public. Um, if you join today on today's webinar with Dory. Okay, so this is a special link for a webinar only surprise bonus. So right now the webinar only bonuses, so make sure you join today and don't miss out on these. You're getting your top secret traffic strategies workshops, a filler blueprint version three, a further $250 discount and the $5 million code. That's $2,944 value all up the total value, the five one-year autoresponder sequence, 15 reports plus graphics, one-click website and one year's free hosting, 100 top secret traffic strategies workshops, full of blueprint version three, a further $250 discount and the $5 million code, $20,407 value for just $747. Now it says an SDF, that's because I had problems with my slides before, so Dory, you have to tell me what your link is and I'll put it in there now. Sorry about that. Yeah, nice. My link, and I have bonuses as well, is Go Affilio, and I just put it in your Skype. It's G O as Go Affilio, A F F I L O. Go Affilio. Uh, and A F A F F I L I O, like that. I must uh, spell that right. Go Affilio, A F F I L O. Oh, I L O. So Go Affilio, like that. Yeah, A F F I L O. Go Affilio. Let me I'll put it into the group I'll, chat. I'm just going to type that into my other computer now and just see if it works for me too, just to make sure. Um, is that correct? Go up the low, like that? Uh, yeah, I, took, I put it into your Skype, go affilio. Is it affilio or is it affilio? <laughs> it's a G-O, go, F-I-L-O. Okay, so go affilio, cool. Cool, got it. I just didn't put jetpack on the end, so it was just. No, 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 that's fine. Um, 
just making sure I type that correctly. Um, okay, yes, so. Or, yeah, seonitro.com slash markling. That's what it re redirects to. Um, oh, wow. So you've, um, you've, you've created a... Um, You've created an extra bonus package as well that people can see on that page. That's 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 fantastic. I absolutely um, do you want to do you want to walk people through those? Yeah, um, I do. Um, you know, and I put you know everything that's included on yours, just you know to put a you know uh, like look at what all everything that you get, and then my bonuses. And before I go into my bonuses, I want to talk about Aiden Booth a little bit because I knew Aiden Booth before he became Aiden Booth. You know, the super uh, affiliate marketer that he is, making millions. He came to SEO Rockstars in 2012, and you know what he was promoting? This stuff right here that Mark's talking about. So I've seen him grow in the last couple years from being someone brand new, coming on the Internet, you know, uh, getting Mark's course, getting the stuff to promote, you know, being a, you know, an affiliate for all these different markets, and then growing. You know, he learned SEO, of course, he, and, and the other ways to get traffic which Mark talked about today. There's all kinds of different ways to get traffic. And if you're a customer or my, you know, we do SEO primarily over here, but we're getting into other stuff. But that's, that's you know, I just love hearing that Aiden Booth was, you know, this was where he got his start. And, uh, uh, and now he's just, you know, super rock star. So anyway, my bonuses, you're going to get the recordings from those uh, 2012, 13, and 14 of SEO rock stars. And the one, that, you know, 2012 is the one that Aiden came to. Uh, and these things, these recordings are awesome. I mean, they're just they're my buddies, my SEO people coming together and sharing with each other what's working and what's not working. Uh, incredible value there. Then we're going to give you 20 links from our new network and. Uh, that will help you rank your SEO stuff. I mean, this I love, you know, what holds me back most of the time is the content, putting up the site and getting the content. What M Mark has given you here is all of that. So, you know, I'm going to buy this. Uh, that's how good I think it is. Um, so back to my bonuses. I mean, I'm just really excited about this, uh, getting the other side, because I'm so much about SEO, and this is the stuff, the content you put up on the on the Internet to promote. So um, let's get back to my bonuses. Uh, we have the SEO recipe cookbook, which tells you how to rank pretty much everything. It's 68 pages. So when any any time that I have somebody that I interview and they tell us what you know how they're ranking stuff, we create a you know a step by step recipe for that, and we put it in our SEO cookbook. So you're going to get that cookbook. I've never sold it alone as a standalone, but when I do, it's going to be $500 or you know $495. Uh, and that's going to be coming up soon. So, but right now, you're going to get that for free just by uh, buying Affiliate Jetpack. And then you can get a $500 discount to our SEO Rockstars event that is coming up in, I think it's just about three weeks. It's here in Sacramento. Uh, we, we do a mastermind. Then we have speakers come in. And then I bus you out to my ranch where we party the night down. <laughs> and it's pretty fun. Uh, this year is probably going to be a little bit smaller than, than the rest of the years because I haven't promoted it much, but that's going to make it that much more intimate. I mean, we normally only let 100 people come anyway because we just want it to be intimate. I mean, it's a mastermind. It's us getting to know each other. It's all about networking. So that's my SEO bonus. Uh, so to get that, just you know, fill in the form down here, and that will take you to Mark's um, order page. Uh, and this is an incredible value, all of this, for just $747. Um, so once again, it's Go Affilio. I put it into uh, the, the chat, and or you can go to seonitro.com slash Mark Ling, and Mark, and th there's capital letters on Mark and Ling, so it's, you know, capital M-A-R-K or capital L. But Go Affilio is the... Uh, is the short URL to get to that page. So I think that's it. Uh, all right, Alan just bought it and he's getting started. Um, awesome, Sheila bought it. Uh, that's so. an incredible bonuses package. Like I'm like looking at this now, thinking, oh man, I've got to buy my own product through through your link just to get just to get access to some of this. I mean, like, I, <laughs> I like, know. I, I mean, some some people don't. I mean. I guess not everyone values training the same way that I do, but I, I find like 
I mean, that's the reason why I'm really successful as well, is because I'm willing to learn from the best. And I think that other people out there, you've got to have that have that mentality as well. You know, actually, information is worth gold. And and how you can upgrade your mind, you know, to think like a millionaire. The more that you can, the the better you're going to be. And you know, those SEO yeah. rock stars recordings and and the SEO recipe cookbooks, and then even turning up live would be even better. You know, those, those things are like, you know, it's hard to actually put a price value on it because depending on how well you implement what you learn, you, you can gain a lot more value from it than what, you know, the dollar Absolutely. figures. Absolutely, and you know, and that's where Aiden Booth started meeting people too. I mean, he's he's from, I, is he New Zealand or Australia? He's down there New somewhere. Zealand. Yet, so, you know, he flew all the way over because he hadn't moved, uh, I know he's moved recently, but he, he was still over there and he flew all that way just to start networking, networking with all of us. And that's how you do it, you know. You just you start and you just you just start meeting people. And of course, we get people at SEO Rockstars that are in all kinds of different uh, markets. But we all we talk about SEO primarily. But you know, like I said in the beginning, I'm very much interested in learning uh, different ways of getting traffic as well, since I've got SEO pretty much down. Um, so that's why I'm you know going out and and, and building up my education. Uh, you know, and, and going to the experts like Mark and, uh, you know, like we did Fred Lamb. Um, you know, so education is really, really important. Uh, I, I have spent so much money on education, I can't even begin to tell you, but it's paid off. I mean, tons. So um, what else can I say? Uh, yeah. we got questions, though, for you. And, yeah, I was going to say, I... I and I know I, um, you've got to go soon, so let's... No, no, but I'm really, really keen to take as many questions as I can fire through, you know. Um, can I answer one of the big questions that I, I see coming up a lot first? Uh, is that people say, "Hey, won't these niches get saturated?" You know, that's a big question. And the fact is, I, I like to teach. Um, I teach everybody how to find. Um, I, first of all, the niches that I've chosen are niches that one, I am succeeding extremely well in over half of the niches that are available, and then the other niches are ones that I know other people are doing extremely well in, and. They are big and proven niches. You're talking about niches where over a billion dollars per week is being made you know, in these niches. So you only need to make a tiny slither of, of the money that's being made in those niches. It's, uh, some people just underestimate how large the world actually is. Yeah, and, and I want to speak to this too because it's not like it's Amazon and you only have the first 10 listings that come up on a page when somebody searches for dog training or something like that. You're but you're getting traffic from different areas. And so in this type of way, you know, Mark's showing you all the different areas where you can go out and get traffic. Um, you, it's like ha trying to mow everybody's lawn in the United States. It just, you just can't do it because there's so many people that are interested in these markets and niches. So it's you, we're going what Mark's teaching you is to go after it in different angles. And of course, you know, my answer as being an SEO person would be, you know, go for the long tail keyword, you know, the, the longer keyword. You can't, you know, it would be hard to go for dog training per se. But there's so many different ways to target and get traffic now that it, it opens up a whole new world, a whole new world that wasn't even there when Abe and Booth did it, you know, started in 2012. So, uh, yeah, one of my students just targets one breed of dog and he's doing over two thousand dollars a week from one breed and there's six hundred breeds of dogs out there and he just targeted one and he's, he's planning on targeting the others but he said you know what I think I can still double this one first get it up to four thousand a week before I bother to get on to the next breed because he just says it's so much easier just honing in on you know there's the long tail you know yeah it's amazing there's, there's so many ways to, to bring in traffic um, so, yeah, anyway. it's like that in all of these kinds of niches. Uh, the fantastic thing about the niches I've chosen is that there's not just one product to promote in those niches. There's usually, you know, anywhere from 12 to 20 plus products that are really profitable. In the dating niche in the last year, there were over 25 products that I earned over $10,000 in commissions from each, you know, per product. Over 25 of them. So it was a hard time for me to choose which dating niche products to put in and in which order. You know, I had to really drill down and look at my data. But that's why you know, a product like this is really handy because you know that it's been chosen from someone that's actually promoting them and knows how what converts and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. 
So would you like to go rapid fire on some of these questions? Yeah, I have? yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll answer them as quick as I can. Sorry about going a bit overboard with my timing on some okay, of this. Okay, let's just go through them fast, uh, and uh, I think we can get through them all probably in about five minutes, maybe. Um, okay. What tool do you use to make graphics posts on Manifestation Miracle? Um, I use uh, heck, I use um, I use Photoshop, but there are free. There's a free alternative to Photoshop at, at a website called GetPaint.net. That's G-E-T-P-A-I-N-T dot net. So write that down. Go visit it later. Don't visit it right now. But GetPaint.net. There's there's free tools out there. But yeah, I use. Um, I think there's one called uh, something Sumo. I can't remember what it was now. But yeah, I use Photoshop. But you may not want to use that. Um, and just try and look for free stock photography websites. So, um, so then you get the your photos in the background from stock photography sites. Yeah, um, and there's another place that we started making graphics. Uh, um, what is it? Canva. C a n v a. Oh, com. Canva. Right, I've heard and, of that. Yeah. My, my staff is that, using yeah. that and making some really cool graphics, and I'm impressed because I was an art major and I uh, used to do all that myself. So I was like, oh, dang, right. man. Um, okay, let's get real fast here. What pixel image size are you using for your photos? Uh, usually, uh, usually it just varies, I guess. I mean, 800 by 600 for the, for the large version, but then Facebook automatically sizes it down. But sometimes I, yeah, I mean I, I sort of vary that up actually. I don't really know what the right answer is. You could Google that. I mean I sort of stumbled and bumbled my way through to a good strategy there with Facebook, but um, I don't have an exact size. Sorry. Sometimes I, yeah, I pretty much just aim for sort of you know a normal screen resolution size, 800, 600 though. Okay. So uh, on the Facebook pages, do you allow comments or Facebook pages? Yep. Yep. yep, I allow content, uh, comments and monitor, and if I see some bad comments, um, when I say bad comments, I don't mind someone not liking something. It's when they just try and spam with their affiliate link to some product, then I just I, I cut those ones out. Yeah. Uh, do you use any tools to target audiences? I don't use any specific tools other than using Facebook's um, ad manager, if I so wish to, to yeah, target audiences. Um, what tasks do you outsource? I outsource all sorts of stuff nowadays. I even teach that. I've got a one and a half hour video on outsourcing inside my affiliate Jetpack members area. Um, I outsource uh, nowadays. I outsource computer programming. I outsource, um, which you may not need at all. You know, most of my Jetpacks don't need a programmer, but I, I do. You know, to build a fellow Jetpack, I needed programmers. You know, um, so programming, graphic design, writers. Um, Customer support, um, you know, you can outsource all sorts of things these days. Yeah, I find that anything that you can make a system about and write instructions, you can outsource it. Mm. And I get my staff, I've gotten a lot of staff from uh, onlinejobs.ph, uh, you know, in the Philippines. They know, they speak great English, and I've gotten a lot of great people there. Oh, FYI. it's fantastic. What I yeah. usually recommend people do if they're hiring in the Philippines is you hire if you're gonna hire more if you're gonna hire more than one staff member, then hire a project manager first and then you get them to do all the advertising for you because then they can advertise in places that you can't because you know, more than just onlinejobs.ph, there are some places where only Filipinos are allowed to advertise and then they can advertise all of those other places as well. You know, just a little tip as well. Yeah. Um, okay, when someone buys a Kindle version of your book, do you get their email address and other contact information? No, no that's why I had my giveaway a free bonus at the start and at the end of the book. Okay, how are you marketing these ebooks for people to find them and buy them? Well, I'll, I'll usually put it somewhere in my autoresponder sequence, so it can be a bit of a circle there. But um, usually. It's about sort of keyword targeting for me, anyway. My friend uh, Chris, who does does his stuff, he doesn't even target keywords. He just got it ranking highly in the in, in his category, anyway, just from sheer just 
blasting it out to his email list to get it started, and then it just sort of stayed near the top after that. But with my stuff, it's usually keywords like like that one I showed you. What what men really want. I mean, some people are searching for what men want or what men really want, and then they just find it. You know, so part of it's sort of keyword optimization, and part of it's um, you know, if you don't have a list to mail it to just to kick it off, then you might want to do some Facebook advertising to it just to till you've got you know, maybe 20 or so reviews and it's just got underway. Yeah. Um, okay, here, do you create Facebook business pages for each different niche? Uh, no, but I'm get, I'm starting to do it for more niches now that I've seen how successful it is. It's been, for me in recent times, it's just got bigger and bigger in the last year. You know, I didn't even do much Facebook at all last year and now this year it's just going crazy. Like, yeah, that's why I'm going into it too. Um, are your Facebook business your Facebook business pages attached to your personal profile? Your personal uh, no, no, nope, nope. Okay, great. Uh, can you tell how you promoted that drama book? I guess in a nutshell. Yeah, I sent out an email to my list. I sent out an email. I, I would have. I don't know exactly what I said in that email, because um, but. Let's say, for instance, I'm promoting any dating niche product. I'll just make it up for right now. Let's say I'm promoting drama book. Then I might have a an email with a subject line. It might say, "How um, make can can you make any man desire you?" Question mark. And then it would say, and then it would say, "Hey, hey guys, I've been asked this question lots of times recently. Can you make any man desire you?" Question mark. And it'd say, "Well, I don't know if it's." Quite possible to make any man desire you, but any man that you that is in your life that you have had a relationship with, or you are in a current relationship with, of course you can make them desire you more. And um, and my friend, you know, whatever his name is, um, my friend Alex believes that one of the biggest ways to make men desire you more is by creating drama. And then you link to his website, and then you say, "Drama? What? How does that work? I thought men hate drama." Well, that's true. They hate the wrong kind of drama. The drama makes makes a man go crazy with with um, with um, with feelings of desire and lust and and passion towards you. He wants to do nice things to to you. He wants to do romantic things to you, and he takes notice of you. Okay, and discover all the secrets to this in this video right here. Click here to watch. Kind regards, your name. You know, something like that. Send an email like that out. Does that awesome. make sense? That's... You know, I teach you how to write emails like that, and how to, and also I've done them all for you anyway, so you don't even have to write them. They're all done for you inside the autoresponder sequence. So you know, you want to know how to promote drama book everything. You know, you get that jetpack and you have a look. Yeah. Okay. Just a couple more questions. What happens after? Uh, of hosting, do you just host and maintain autoresponders yourself? You can either host yourself, or you can the, the autoresponders. At the end of the day, you can either add more emails, or one year is about enough anyway. You know, like one year is about enough. It's it's fine. You can add more after that. People will still keep buying, but the majority of your buyers are people that are sort of like buying within the first. You know, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months of the sequence while they're hot. You can add more to the sequence if you wish to, but don't forget, in a year's time, if you get a new subscriber, they're going to start on day one in your sequence. They don't get to a year until they've been on your list for a year. So, you, by all means, you can add more emails on, but you don't have to. Um, and in terms of the, the hosting, web hosting, how, yeah, that's in terms of the first twelve months, and then what happens after that? Yeah. Yeah, after that, you can either host it yourself or you can host it through us for $67 a year. So we, we charge very, very cheap. We only put the hosting in not to make money, more just to make it easy for you guys so that we could do a push-button setup of the website. Whereas yeah, that's we not a money-making uh, proposition for hosting, I, I can tell you because I, yeah. I have some hosting businesses, so that's a great, that's a great deal. Um, here's a question I'm going to rephrase because it's kind of long. But they are asking for a realistic figure, you know, somebody who's been trying, who has been a newbie and trying to, you know, to, to go at it. How long does it take? And you know, once somebody's gotten it, how much money should they be able to make once they get it? Sure. Well, what I've how found much, they is they want to know how much you're making. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm making over a hundred thousand dollars every single 
every single month. And you saw me logging into several of some of my accounts before the webinar. And if I had more time, I would start logging into a bunch right now. But I've got another webinar starting in 10 minutes. But um, but I um, yeah I um, in terms of like how much is realistic, honestly, it's a matter of if you don't give up and you stay on the path and you, you don't stop, even if you make a lot of mistakes, you're sooner or later you're going to be making a lot of money, like any amount. There's no actual ceiling on what you can make. What you in particular will make, I don't know. That depends on you know whether or not you keep going or not. That's, that's it. I've never actually seen anyone fail that, um, that follows my training and doesn't stop. I do very well are people that, you know, they start and three weeks later they're buying someone else's course and they're doing something else and then they're buying something else and doing something else and they're not actually following any system. They're not carrying on. That's the that's more the the issue. Um, yeah, and you know, I think uh, a long time ago, like ten years ago, maybe even twelve or thirteen, it, we used to think that ten thousand dollars a month was huge for an internet marketer to make. That's actually low now. So yeah. I, you know, I don't know if it's, it's we're all making more money, uh, which we are. Uh, maybe money, you know, is uh, maybe inflation. I don't know, but you know, you typically that to me that's you know when someone's saying I'm making ten thousand, that's great. That's like a beginner. So I'm just going to put that out there. But at one time, that was a lot. It was like if you were making ten grand doing internet marketing, that was a lot. And now it's just kind of. Uh, average, like, okay, you got yeah, it. Yeah, it's, to to it's totally doable. So it's I got totally one, doable. More question, yeah. one more question, yeah. for, and I know you have to go. One person is not clear on the reports. Are these reports uh, that they can sell? Are they free gifts uh, to capture They're free gifts for you to give away, um, and we, we include the email captures pages for you and all of that, or you can edit them and create your own. You can take the reports, use them as is, or you can edit them. Do what you want with them. They're not ones that you're going to want to sell. They're, they're designed to be. I mean, you could sell them. They're very good quality. You could use them as bonuses inside your own products if you want to. But they're. I mean, that we wrote them with the with the idea that you'd be giving them away in exchange for somebody opting into your list. Yep. And then, are you uh, offering anything to help them promote their site? Which, of course, you have all kinds of training, and I'm. Uh, and in my bonuses were uh, training and SEO as well. So uh, I don't know if you can add, add anything really quick with that. I know you got to go. You got seven minutes, and you got to go somewhere else. So um, yeah, no, I don't have anything else on top of all of that. I mean, I, I train people as much as I can in the traffic driving side of things as well. Um, you know, and I, the, the the real key to this product is we've done ninety percent of the actual content creation and everything is done for you. You just have to like customize it, choose your own domain name, you know, that sort of thing. We even have a header creation tool that automatically creates your header for you. You can you can obviously edit it and make a little better one if you want, but we make it very easy so that you'd still be up and running and you're fine with the one that gets generated for you. Like make it easy as as, as easy as I could possibly think of making it. Yeah. And uh, you know there's a lot of support a too for that I have to say. Anyway, Mark, I want to let you go. I know you got six minutes. I want to thank you so much for coming online uh, with my people, uh, and uh, congratulations on creating such an incredible product and offering. And uh, we'll, we'll talk. I really soon. appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, by the way, did you meet um, Jackson Lynn when we're, uh, when you were at my mastermind recently? I'm not I sure don't if think you. I did. Oh, okay, because he was there as well. He's in the dating niche now. He started out with, anyway, I was just going to show this testimonial just to before I go. He started out with a filler blueprint, then he moved on to a filler jetpack. Now he he sort of lives anywhere from the Philippines to Thailand to Australia. He just flies all around the world and does internet marketing and is doing extremely well. You know, just another. I just I only mentioned him because I knew you'd met him in person. So that's why I thought I probably mm -hmm. might have met him in person. But there were 80 people there, so you might not have touch base but yeah anyway that's the link there make sure you get in make sure you d don't miss out on the extra $250 discount and, and all the early mover bonuses that you get for being on the webinar today and don't, for don't forget Dory's bonuses are just ridiculously incredible that it's probably worth joining just to get those let alone everything else um, and I just want to say a big thank you for your time everyone and for bearing with me when my slides weren't working I totally appreciate that <laughs> that happens we know that uh... But anyway, great. Thank you so much, Mark. And for everybody else, I'm going to have the replay up probably by tomorrow. And the replay will be on Go Affiliates. Some people have been asking me about that. 
So uh, with that, I'm going to say uh, Dory and Mark, over and out. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Dory.